He comes from Madison. He is sweet. He is talented. He uh, is a uh, next one up for sweet name, Joe Roberts. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Youth Group, how are we all doing? Yeah, you thought it was a comedy, so psych, it's church. I'm uh, Pastor Joel, but you can call me uh, PJ. And we're just here to get lit for the Lord, let's see. Jesus is so awesome, he healed all who were limping, and he hung out with way too many hookers to not be totally pimping. <laughs> Jesus is a party animal. He wasn't just divine. All you had to do was bring the water, and my best friend Jesus would bring the wine. <laughs> Jesus maybe never got drunk, but I don't think it matters, because I know that one time on the cross for your sins, my Jesus, he got totally hammered. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Favorite, uh, favorite, favorite sex position? Missionary. Favorite Christian profession? 69. Side so note, um, if 69 is a number that describes a sex position, does that work with other numbers? Like is 59ing having sex with a guy in a wheelchair who's going like that? <laughs> Is 68ing having upside down sex with a snowman crotch to carrot? Is 969ing two people 69ing and then another guy just like trying to sleep? Just taking heels to the back of the head from the six? Uh, Chris Brown slaps. Uh, Chris, Chris Brown has a song called Occupy. The hook goes like. Making love in a restroom. Basically, somebody questioned Chris's gangster, and then Chris fucked that dude's girl in a restroom. And my question for Chris is, why so much emphasis on the location? Like, making love, restroom. How about making love your girl? That seems more pertinent. Like, like, like what do you even do with the verse? It's just like, mm, yeah. Yeah, I've been making her way up against the wall while she's gripping the rail in the handicap stall. <laughs> she tell me to choose the next sex position, but I'm distracted by the shoes under the wall partition. <laughs> my baby calling me daddy, which explains the location because I'm doing your baddie on the diaper changing station. It just, <laughs> just doesn't enhance the narrative. Man. I'm, I'm Christian. And silence takes the room. I, I get it. <laughs> saying you're Christian in a bar is kind of like saying you're Muslim in a TSA line. <laughs> <laughs> now, people talk trash about Jesus. They'll, uh, they'll slut shame his mom. They'll say stuff like a virgin birth. <laughs> That's impossible. No, it's not. It's not even that hard to replicate. It's three ingredients. Virgin, semen, turkey baster. That's it. <laughs> Just 
version seem to how you can make do with the silly straw if you got enough money. Like you give me four grand, two years in full legal immunity, I will get you a virgin bird. I'll just be walking the streets like God on Thanksgiving. Come here, come on, you just do it. Um, no, I'm I'm pretty new to adulthood, you know. 22, first job. I find it harder to meet women as an adult than it was in high school. Because high school is really a magical place, right? It's a bunch of people, same age, just doing life together in a building. But as an adult, you don't have that, because they'll ask you to leave campus. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I think I'm too young for what I want in life. Like, I, I want a wife. I want a kid. Ideally, we'll be different people, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not normal around kids, I promise. I, I work with kids a lot. You know, last summer I worked at a Jewish camp. A uh, day, not concentration. But <laughs> I, I volunteered a bunch, and I've worked with kids a lot. So obviously I'm very pro-choice. <laughs> uh, although if I'm honest, I actually like older women, you know? A little more formed, more mature, but I'm going for younger ones, because here's something. If you like older women, but you marry a younger one, you can just wait. <laughs> but like Russian nesting dolls, you get one, you get every next one. It's fantastic. <laughs> I've been seeing this girl recently, and it's been going good, because she hasn't seen me. <laughs> no. <laughs> hasn't seen me one bit. I got my girl a uh, bath bomb. She got pissed at me for some reason. Started yelling stuff like, this is a toaster, or whatever. <laughs> but with bath enhancer, whatever, you know. Just, you know, plug it in, run the water, good sudsy, you deserve it. Yeah. All right, let's do one more song, how we do? One more? All right. I'll do two quick jokes before I do that, but I am so tired with my dad. The world's getting very sex positive these days, and I, 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 I don't get it. I, I don't. Like if, if virginity doesn't matter, explain olive oil. <laughs> I mean, we got wet ass pussy in these streets. You know, sort of wet, sort of fat freak. Seven days a week. Wet ass, but wait, did you say seven days a week? Hell, even God rested. You don't got just. Just one day a week to, you know, prop a leg up, air her out, nothing. Let that baby breathe, you know? One more, we're out of here. Hasn't been great, but give it up for yourselves real quick. Just let me pander. Uh, this is just a song about some things that I believe, so strap in.
your next comic. She is as funny as she is tiny. She's been working so hard. Gets better every 